Greetings everybody, we are just entering into the pre-launch phase with the pre-launch event rebirth happening on March 6 in the lead up to the actual launch of the Contemplative Studies program on the 30th of March. In lieu of that I wanted to roll out just a couple of clips and this is the second clip here I wanted to just uh, indicate the value and importance of a multi-dimensional approach to your study which we will be adopting for our two-year program together. Now, this really comes out of the Tibetan style uh, program or literature or pedagogy, how, how a yogi is best trained in the Tibetan tradition is to really follow three levels of knowledge, what are called the three levels of knowledge or wisdom. The first is to have a basic uh, understanding, conceptual understanding. The second is to have a deeper reflective or contemplative understanding. And the third is to have a meditative or experiential understanding. And we really uh, graph those or map those onto the program by um, the various features of the program. We'll sort of cover those three dimensions. So just let me lay those out for you. The learning that comes from conceptual knowledge is really covered by way of the lecture and the meditation workshops. I'll be giving meditation instruction and guidance, tips, and in the lectures I'll be really rolling out a whole series, a sequential series of principles. And by way of reading Gradual Awakening and some of the primary text resources on the syllabus and listening to the lectures and taking good notes, you're really accomplishing the first level of knowledge, which is to take some knowledge outside and bring it in and, uh, and to digest it at a very cursory conceptual level and getting it, getting it right, getting the concepts right. For those of you that are going to join the Bodhisattva or Mahasiddha package, you will have the opportunity for a virtual study group which offers a high level of engagement. Every other week we'll be meeting with the cohort where you can tussle and debate and problem solve and ask questions and come up against your own biases and, and, and clarify your own misunderstandings by way of an interactive kind of approach. And this is emblematic or resembles what happens in the debate courtyard in the monastic centers where after classes the monks would go out and have a very intense debate and, and challenge their own presuppositions and so we're we're going to offer a every other week discussion group for you to have that opportunity but it's also uh, for those that aren't in the two higher tiers of package the bodhisattva and mahasiddha if you're just in the yogi practice you uh, um, tiers you package you can simply do a process of self-reflection and, for example, write an essay or a journal. And that really takes the fundamental cursory level of knowledge and it makes, it gives you an opportunity to personalize it. How is it relevant for you? What have you learned along the way? How do you deepen your understanding by spending time digesting and metabolizing and making it personal? We would consider that the second tier of knowledge. And the final tier of knowledge is sometimes translated as meditative uh, learning, which we will have a kind of suggested or recommended 30-minute daily practice. Uh, but in addition to that, I also think that the third level of knowledge is really experience. So this is when you're actually applying principles and practices to everyday life. We may encourage you to, in between sessions of meditation and in between um, teaching lessons, to really see if you can make the leap into your life by applying principles and practices into everyday experiences. And that's where the knowledge actually becomes more than just personal, it becomes experiential. It, it drops from the head and from the heart into the gut. It becomes part of your way of being. So those are the three types of knowledges and those are the three sort of, we have our features of the program are set up to help you metabolize and integrate these uh, ways of knowing so that they become really personal and experiential and part of your new hardwire. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is really an ancient way of studying that we hope to bring into the modern context. I hope that whets your appetite and gets you inspired for the journey ahead. I look forward to seeing you in, uh, uh, at our pre-launch event on the 6th and then in earnest on the 30th when we begin the program. All best wishes.